Outdoors and Wildlife, brought to you by Briggs GMC, hardworking trucks for hardworking Kansas farmers and ranchers. Good morning and welcome back to Ag in Kansas. We're at the Kansas State Turf Grass Conference here in Topeka, Kansas, and we're joined by Chad. <laughs> Anyways, hey, yeah. uh, Chad, my question to you is, as being a professional providing services to <laughs> homeowners and, and people who uh, want a nice pretty lawn, coming to a conference like this, what are some sure. of the things you take away that you can then teach homeowners about? Well, we take a, a, a lot of investment in bringing not only me, but also my assistant out here. Um, we want to make sure that the advice that we're giving is consistent with what um, is working in Kansas and, and what the turf grass, or turf grass conference does is it, it brings all of these individuals, all these professionals together uh, so we can all talk about the issues that we have, what works, what doesn't work, uh, and then we receive continuing education to kind of make ourselves better and a little sharpen our skills, so to speak, uh, so that we can go out and give good information as it pertains to us so that our, our homeowners are, are getting accurate, um, good information out there so they can have success with their yards. Now, coming out of summer, we're now into winter. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things you're telling uh, people as they come in um, out to Premier Farm at Home sure. about taking care of their grass during the winter time? You know, over the winter, the, the important thing to do is just make sure you've mowed it that one last time, continue to keep the leaves off. Again, your, your plants will continue to make food, store food, use that sunshine to do it, and they can't do it if they're covered in leaves. So, so really this time of year is about just maintaining those leaves, getting them off the surface of the leaves so that your yard can continue to grow food. Other than that, it's a sit back and wait. We should have uh, just got done doing our last fertilizing uh, application for the year, which is typically a winterizer. Uh, that usually wraps up at the end of Thanksgiving. And uh, now we're just kind of holding out for spring, uh, which we'll be looking at pre-emergence and those sorts of things to help us with that uh, crabgrass problem. Now, you know, I'm a nervous grass guy. <laughs> sure. I, I wear you out worrying about my grass. <laughs> yeah. One of the things you said to me was, is wait, 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 coming into spring. Don't sure, dump sure. a bunch of fertilizer early yeah. spring because you're going to battle all kinds of weeds. Yeah, one of the easiest mistakes that, that homeowners make is in the spring, they're very excited about their yards, and so they, they go out there and they'll hammer it with nitrogen right away. And the problem with that is uh, Mother Nature will already uh, be producing a lot of leaves and shoot growth. Um, when they come through, they'll, they'll have those plant hormones geared so that uh, you're starting to produce a lot of leaves. Now, if you add nitrogen in that mix, you force the plant to grow on top of what it was already growing, um, and you burn, you basically use all those plants' reserves. So it may look great in spring, but then when we get to the summertime, when they become under stress and, and uh, we're starting to talk about water problems and all that, there's no carbohydrates left, no food left for the plant. You burned it all up in the springtime. So the easiest thing to do is just let Mother Nature do its thing, uh, produce that green leaves and shoots for you, and then come back in about May, no earlier than May, for your first heavy nitrogen application. If you want to see a replay of this story, go to our website, Ag AM in Kansas, or you can go to Chad's website, heycal.com, mm -hmm. and it will be posted there also. If you have a story idea that you'd like to see Chad or I cover, go to our website, click the Contact Us button, fill out the form, hit Submit, and we'll get back to you. I'm Brian Holman, this is Chad. We're at the Kansas State Turfgrass Conference here in Topeka, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you.